most profitable categories. In this lesson, you're going to learn about the most profitable categories that you should choose your products from, and also about gated categories and subcategories. So top level categories are an important part of the product selection process. This is because the BSR, best sellers rank, of a product is tied to the top level categories and not the subcategories. Now, for the most part, the top level categories are self-explanatory. And when we start searching, you will see specific examples. Now, not all top level categories are created equal. And we are only interested in ones that are profitable and that we can find products that match our ASM criteria. Now, you can download a complete list of these profitable categories that we recommend below this video. We strongly recommend you only choose these categories for your product searches, categories requiring approval. Now, included in the category list download are categories that require approval, otherwise known as gated categories. To sell in these categories, you need approval from Amazon. This is quite a difficult and lengthy process, and you need to already have supplier invoices for most of them. Now, to take a look at the category approval page, go to sellercentral.amazon.com forward slash gp forward slash help forward slash 200-332-540. You can also get that link in the lesson guide below the video. Now, by all means, go and have a look at it. You do actually have to have a Seller Central account to be able to look at this page. But as we really don't recommend you go for a category that requires approval to start with, don't worry too much about having to go look at it. Now, Amazon have recently changed some of the gated categories like beauty and also health and personal care and more on health and personal care in a minute. Instead, they are gating some subcategories and even individual products. This is actually good for sellers since there are now more products that are ungated than before because beauty and health are both very large categories. Now, they have also changed the names of some categories and Amazon being Amazon, they have not changed them everywhere on their site. An example is health and personal care that I just mentioned. You might find this in lists in Seller Central, but it no longer exists on the Amazon site itself. Now, importantly, we are only really interested in the categories they are showing to the consumers. These are the categories you will find in the download below this video. Now, it is not impossible to sell in one of these categories or the subcategories. If you wish to start your business in one of these categories, then you should get approval first before ordering inventory. However, to get approved, you need at least three commercial invoices for most of these categories, which kind of implies you need to have ordered inventory. So this is one of the main reasons we say that for your first product especially, you should avoid any gated category or subcategories. Now, if you're absolutely determined you want to sell in one of these gated categories, then you can try searching Google for Amazon ungating services. There are a number of services out there that will help you get ungated and they charge for this service. It can range from anything from $200 to $400. Now, do not let gated categories deter you. There is still a huge amount of profitable product opportunities in the normal categories. In other words, ones that are not gated. If your interests lie in one of the gated categories and you can't get approved, find a product in normal category for your first product. Once you have product sales and a track record on Amazon, you will find it much easier to get ungated in most of the gated categories and subcategories. So what's next? So now you have learned what the most profitable categories are and about gated categories and subcategories. In the next lesson, we are going to make your job much easier by giving you a list of actual products to avoid selling. So your action step, download the category list below and take a look and identify what categories might appeal to you the most. But that's it for this lesson. Take care.